Hi everyone, this is the Gas Walkthrough for September 15th. I'm Philip Newman. Today I'm solving a clover puzzle, which is a rarity, uh, but we swapped days and um, clover posted right before me. That doesn't usually happen. This is a combination of two types of lines. We have normal Sudoku rules, one to nine in each row, column, and three by three box. Additionally, we have gray lines in the grid, and these gray lines all have two properties. The first property is that each line contains either all odd digits or all even digits. So for example, this line already contains a four and an eight, so we know that all the digits on the line are even. The second property is that these are entropic lines. So if we think about dividing up the digits into three groups, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Then along the lines, the digits alternate in a pattern among those groups. So for example, this is a low digit. So we're going to have, maybe we have a medium digit here and a high digit here. And then we repeat that pattern, low, medium, high, low. If we had a high digit here, we would go low, high, medium, low, high, medium, and so on. So we just have to repeat that pattern in some order. Those are the rules. And we will start with the lines, obviously, because they provide a lot of information in this puzzle. Um, these longer lines, we already know what parity they have. Um, we might as well color them. I don't know that we really need to color them, but we might as well. So these are all odd digits, and then these are all going to be even digits. Now, let's look at the even digits first because they're a little more restricted. There are fewer of them. There is only one low even digit, and that is two. So if this goes low something something low, this has to be two, and this also has to be two. Now we have a six here. This is the medium digit, so this must be high, and there's only one high even digit. That's an eight. So this is also eight. And then this is going to be medium. We have two options there, four and six. And we can do the same sort of thing down here. We have a high digit here. So three away also needs to be a high digit and we only have one option. And then this needs to be eight as well. This is a four. So this must be a low digit and the only option is two. And then again, this cell has two options, four and six. Okay, uh, another thing we can see here is that these are going to have to be even because we have all of the odd cells in the box. These are going to have to be even as well. And where does six go in this box? Can't go in these cells because of this six. So this is our six, and then these are four, eight. Where does six go in this box? It has to go here. These are two, four. All right, let's look at the odd lines that we have marked. We have a low digit here, so this has to be a low digit. One and three are the options. This also has to be a low digit. One and three are still the options. Now, this is a little tricky, and maybe there's another way of seeing this, but one of these digits has to be medium, and there's only one option for a medium digit that is also odd, that's five. But if five isn't one of these cells, it can't be here. So this must be a high digit. And if this is a high digit, then this must be the medium digit. And then this is the other high digit. So that gives us a five here and here as well. And this is high, but it can't be seven. So that's a nine. Now down here, we can do the same type of thing. We have a low digit here, here, here. And then five has to go in one of these cells because we need a medium digit. So this must be high. And this must be five. This is five. This is five. This is our other high digit. And this one can't be nine, so it's seven. And now let's look at our fives. We have a lot of fives looking into the other boxes. So we can place a five here. We can place a five here. And we have the five in the center. So now we know these are also going to be odd, these four cell lines. So let's color those orange.
All right, we know we have a high digit in one of these cells. It has to be seven because there's a nine there. Um, let's color our given digits as well. So we have all the odd digits now in this column and in this column, and we know what digit it has to be. It has to be four in both cases because we have the other digits. These are one, three, seven in some order. So we're going to have a seven as our high digit, one or three as our low digit. I don't think we can resolve this yet. The four, though, looks over and resolves six, two, and four. This four also resolves six, eight, and four. And now we have all the even digits in these rows. So these are odd. We have all the odd digits in this box and in this box. So these are all even. Now we have all the even digits in these columns. So these are odd. Now, where does six go in this box? We can't go here, so it must go here. And where does four go in this box? It has to go here. So these are odd. Okay, so now we have three, seven, nine in these cells. And let's look across here. These are one, six, and eight. But these have to be the same parity, so they have to both be even. That's our one. Color those blue. These digits are one, seven, nine. And now these are two, three, four. The two and the four are going to have to go together. And that's going to be a three. Oh, wrong color. And actually, we can resolve these four, two, six, eight. These are seven and nine. These are all going to be odd. Across here, we still need a four. There's a four there. And that was our last even digit in the box. This is also odd. This has to be a four from these fours. And we are finished coloring. All right, let's see if we can resolve the even digits now. So we've got these two boxes. We need a two and an eight here that are resolved by that eight and that two. Down here, we need a two and an eight as well. And those are resolved, and that's all the even digits. So now looking at the odd digits, we need one, three, seven here. We've got a three looking up, so that's one, seven, three, one, three. Also resolves the nine, seven. Uh, the three and the nine look down to give seven, three, and we needed a seven in this column. This is nine, this is three, this is one, and we can check here we have low, high, medium, low. The seven looks over for nine and seven here. This is also a nine. This is a one in the column, so that's three, that's one. Uh, one and seven look up for nine, one, seven. This is one, this is three, this is nine, this is nine, seven, and three to finish it off. That's the solution. Um, coloring was very helpful in that one. Um, so I'd be curious how many of you colored and how many of you didn't. Um, let us know in the comments. But I will see you next time in two days um, because we'll be back on our normal rotation.